Hey everyone, I'm Hannah, and I bet you can guess what this video is. It's my monthly thrift haul video where I'm going to show you everything I thrifted in the month of November. You guys really liked what I did last month where I kind of dove into the details of where I bought the things I thrifted, so I'll try to do a little more of that this month. So first of all, the total, which if you are subscribed to my newsletter or if you are a Patreon donor, then I did send out a sneak peek this week and I told you to try to keep in mind how much I spent this month. So in total for this entire thrift haul you're going to watch, I spent $7.40. This is a really cheap month for me because I was really trying to save up for all of the internet deals. <laughs> so now you know how much I spent, let's look at the stuff! To start, I have some non-clothing items and the first are some 1970s era magazines. There's a small volunteer run shop that often has a rack of magazines all for free. I've gotten a lot of like women's day kind of magazines and that's what I got here. I spotted these from across the room and I could just tell that the covers were not the modern issues that they normally have out. And I went over and I just kept digging and I found four. So we got Better Homes and Gardens. This is a Christmas issue from December 1978. Women's Circle, October 1973. Women's Day, February 1976 back to the beginning with Women's Circle, September 1973. I don't love the 70s like I love the 80s, but I still thought that they would be fun just to go through and then I'll donate them back and give someone else the joy of finding 70s era magazines. <laughs> okay, so also at this church-run volunteer thrift store, I got this pack of ice cream themed iron-on patches. If you follow my Pinterest thrifting wish list, I do have iron-on patches on it because I want to find like an 80s era nightgown or just a plain t-shirt and I want to put iron on patches on it. So not only are these ice cream, but they're also scratch and sniff. I haven't actually opened them, but I can just tell that they're all ice cream. Let's take a look. It's kind of like a vintage unboxing video. Hmm. I don't know, I don't really smell. No, I don't really smell ice cream. I know what ice cream smells like. <laughs> okay, so this one is an ice cream sundae and it's got four little cherries. And these are neon ice cream, an assortment of ice cream cones. And also these are 1983, which totally sold me on them. And the last non-clothing item I got is this yellow hard shell wallet. As soon as I saw it, I was like, you know what that needs? That needs a smiley face painted on it. So I'll probably give it the emoji treatment. And now I have clothes. Okay, so going back to the iron-on patches, so I found those at the beginning of the month, and then here at the end of the month, I was at Goodwill for their $1.23 clothing sale. Now that's not all over, those are in very select locations, and actually, I heard the bad news that the location I go to is ending their sale. At the end of 2017, there will be no more sale days for $1.23 clothing. They said they're going to replace it, but unless they go back to $1 clothing, I'm probably not going to keep going. <laughs> anyway, so a lot of the clothes I got are from there. And one of the things I got is a plain pink t-shirt. Well, it's a pink night shirt and it's by Avon Fashions. And actually when I saw it, I thought the ice cream patches would go really good on it. Like especially the neon ones, because it's pink. Mm-hmm. You feeling me? Looks like I'm going to be very busy crafting in December. It just so happened that I kind of thrifted two of everything this month, and you'll see as I start showing you the clothes. So that was a pink nightshirt, so this is a pink sweater. So it's a long sleeve sweater, and it's sort of long like a tunic length. And this came from a free community closet uh, clothing exchange type of place. Pink is really having a moment in my closet right now. Next I got a few lace pieces. So this one with the Peter Pan collar, I had actually put in the sneak peek and asked you guys to guess how much it was. It was free. This one also came from the community closet. Also, are Peter Pan collars still a thing? I feel like they're really out. I know I personally don't wear them that much anymore, but I thought it was free and I would just have fun with it. And the other lace thing I got is this pretty little white t-shirt that I got at Goodwill on $1.23 sale day. And I thought that it was cool. It's by Who What Wear, which is a brand that was sold at Target. And earlier this summer, I got a trench coat that was by Who What Wear, and Who What Wear are fashion bloggers, and I'm a fashion blogger, and it's a whole thing. <laughs> okay, so I'm probably most excited to have found two vintage t-shirts. We'll start with the one that I know slightly more about. <laughs> okay, so this is a Bob Seger in the Silver Bullet Band t-shirt. Uh, the Distance 1983 Tour. Again, 1983. 
I don't have much of a connection with Bob Seger. All I know is that his music just soothes my soul. Um, this came for free from one of the community closets that I go to. And the other shirt I got at Goodwill on $1.23 sale day and it says Moni Moni. As soon as I saw it, I assumed it was Billy Idol, the song Moni Moni. Um, but you're welcome to sound off in the comments if you think it's something else because there's an acronym on the back. Now, this acronym has two possible meanings. One is very inappropriate and very Billy Idol, and the other one is a lot more family friendly, and we're gonna pretend it's that one if I ever wear this shirt in public. Um, the more family friendly one is freezing your butt off, and I'm from Wisconsin, so we get some pretty gnarly winters. Moving right along, I got something from my thrifting wish list. Um, I'm not sure when I originally talked about this, but I've been looking for a gray zip-up hooded sweatshirt, and that's what I got. <laughs> Best of all, I got it for a dollar. So it's by American Eagle brand, it's super soft, it hasn't lost its shape, and I've pretty much worn it every single day since I got it. If you follow me on Snapchat, then you've probably seen it in almost all of my selfies this month. <laughs> you know, come to think of it, one of my very favorite pairs of jeans are by American Eagle Outfitters. I am beginning to realize that is a good brand of thrift. <laughs> Okay, now I have a pair of dresses to show you, and the first one is this green t-shirt dress by Forever 21 brand, and I bought it from threadup.com, and I actually had some credit, so it was pretty much free for me. But when I edit this video, I'm going to add in the original price that it sold on Threadup for, just so you can get an idea of how much a dress like this would go for on Threadup, in case you're interested in going on Threadup and buying dresses. Which, speaking of, I actually just ordered a dress for New Year's Eve from threadup.com, but it didn't come in time for this haul, so it's just gonna end up in my December haul, but I'm really excited to show you guys. Might be addicted to shopping on ThreadUp. <laughs> and the other dress that I got is this blue polka dot dress that I got from Goodwill on $1.23 day. Um, it's originally H&M brand. It's got some sort of lace-up dealio. Um, it is rather sheer, and it's made of viscose, which is one of those sort of wrinkly materials. And I've actually tried to like weed out any wrinkly materials in my closet. But I made an exception for it because I do own and wear a lot of blue polka dots. My favorite shorts are blue polka dots. Overall, just too cute to leave at the store. My last two things are graphic tops. One you've seen if you follow me online because I posted it on my blog in an outfit post earlier this month, theoutdoorrepeater.com. I will never not plug my stuff in my videos. <laughs> Okay, so that is this Union Jack sweater, and this came from the free community closet. I know, you're gonna hate me, because this is a really well-made sweater, and I'm like, for free? Yes. So it's actually quite thick, and like I said, really well-made. The graphic is very bold. Um, I don't recognize the name on the tag, but it sounds fancy, because it's called Anybody Collection. That sounds really hipster. Um, when I looked it up, I think it came from Forever 21, but it seems way too nice to be sold at Forever 21. And the final item of my November thrift haul is a Girl Boss t-shirt. I have not put it out there to the universe that I was looking for this shirt, but I've thought about it in my head, and I think there was one at Walmart I was looking at, but it was never in my size. But the thrift gods put one in my path, so I had to get it, and it was $1.23 at Goodwill. Like MC Hammer, I am too legit to quit. And that's it. That is the end of my haul. Uh, what else can I tell you? I feel like I've plugged everything. Uh, if you want links to anything, anything that I've mentioned, I'm going to have them down below in the description box. If you're watching this on my blog, then scroll below the video because, again, I'm going to have a lot of links there. Uh, links to follow me online, to my newsletter, to Patreon, all that good stuff. You know, you can even find out what lipstick I'm wearing or where my outfit's from all in the description box. And because I thrifted so many clothes, if you want to see me make a lookbook, I can totally do that. Just tell me down in the comments what, like, four to five pieces you'd want to see in a thrifted lookbook, and I will try to make that happen for you next week. Okay, I think that's really, really it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe, tell a friend about me. Hopefully I will see you in future videos. In the meantime, be excellent to each other.